Hopefully it doesn't burn my head off. Hopefully it's not too spicy. Oh my. I'll tell you what. That is... What's happening people? I'm back in the kitchen again and I've made an executive decision. I'm going to do a few kitchen reviews to get me back into my stride because I'm still absolutely knackered from a mad week in Lanzarote with my girls. So until the end of this month now, next what, four or five days, we'll just be uh, reviewing things in the kitchen. Hopefully some new stuff at the uh, supermarkets. I'll go out and investigate tomorrow. But this one is one, it says new on it. I've never had it. So we're giving it a go. It's this. Takeaway char siu pork and noodles. So this is from Iceland's takeaway range. And Iceland's curries are half decent. So I'm hoping that this will be okay. So a few quick videos for you in this, this week. Quarter past three. Don't forget if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel. As of the 1st of August, we will be out and about again. So that is coming soon. I appreciate everyone who watches. I know the kitchen reviews are not for everyone, but there was a portion of people that said, don't ever stop doing them. I've had a week off now, so I'm just going to get back into my groove with a with a bit of uh, a bit a few kitchen reviews. But I have got some plans, plans, big plans. So let's have a look at this pack. See what's in this. See what is pork char siu, and we'll uh, yeah we'll give it a go. Come down here. Right. So like I say, it is part of Iceland's uh, takeaway range. It's three hundred and seventy-five grams, and it's got a one chili rating. And it looks like it's got some red peppers in. Some I think green peppers or green chilies. We don't want chilies. Um, oh, I hope that's like a caramelized onion. Little bits of pork and some nice noodles so that is what you get looks okay doesn't it we'll see if it tastes okay right let's see what it says about it char siu pork and noodles cooked noodles with cooked diced char siu pork in a sweet soy and five spice sauce the five spice sauce is the spice because I've had that before, I think. Right, let's dive straight into the nutrition. 535 calories per pack, microwaved. 80 grams of carbohydrates. Oh, I thought it said 191 grams of protein. 19.1 grams of protein. 14.7 grams of fat. That is your ingredients there. Cooked noodles, 26%. Char siu pork, 12%. And that is pork, sugar, sunflower oil, soy sauce, honey powder. So it's going to be quite sweet, this, isn't it? Hmm. And there's a few allergens there. Wheat, barley, soya, sesame seed. And that's it, I think. So, how do we cook this thing? Microwave, I'm guessing. Oh, it's on the right. It's right there. It's right there, Dino. Right. Um, you can put it in the oven, but I don't think you need to with noodles and like a... A little noodle dish. I think pasta dishes do perfectly well unless it's a pasta bake in the microwave. So that's what we're going to do. Remove our packaging, pierce film lid several times, place in a microwave plate, cook for four minutes, stir, replace film, and cook for two and a half more minutes. So six and a half minutes in total. That doesn't look too bad. Did it tell us where the pork were from? I don't think it does, did it? Nah, we're not bothered anyway, are we? We're not bothered anyway. It'll be from Thailand or something. Right, let's give it a go. Right, price. On its own, that's going to cost you £2.50. That's not too bad, is it, for 375 grams worth of essentially takeaway food. New takeaway food. £2.50. But, if you're like me and you love a deal, you can get this in the three for £6 deal. So you can get three of them or get maybe a couple of curries and try this. Six quid, so you can get it for two quid. I think that might be an online exclusive. I'm not 100% sure. There is 39 customer reviews, so I, I don't know how. Um, I don't know how new this is. If there's already 39 reviews, and let me go. I'm going to go to the first one. 
just to see uh, how old it was, the first review on this. Bear with me. Right, I'm already at January, so it's not that new. I apologise if, if you thought this were new, because it's been out for about eight months. <laughs> but, Rachel Mitchell, on the 12th of the 6th this year, so that's last month, rated it one star. And she said, if you want a dish that is full of gristle, horrible taste, no flavour, not a lot of pork, but plenty of green pepper, then this is the perfect dish for you. Don't waste your money on this and order, from a and order it from a Chinese takeaway. Trust me, you'll be grateful that you did. At least then you won't get pork that tastes and feels like old boot leather. And where was the sauce? What sauce? Who approved this dish at the taste testing? No stars. Then she left one. I don't think you can leave none. Directly above that, Julia Warren says, Five star review. Absolutely delicious. So sorry it's not available at the moment. That was the 21st of the 6th. It's available right now. Uh, another one says, five stars. Plenty of noodles of sauce, which there is plenty of. And pork is lovely. Very tasty, fulfilling meal. Ready meal in, in a few minutes in the microwave, which I prefer than the oven. So yeah, there's 39 reviews. I'm not going to read them all out. You want to check them out, go to the Iceland website and check them out. It's definitely available now though. So, because there it is. Two quid, or yeah, it's an online exclusive, I just caught a glimpse there. So if you're going in store to buy it, it's going to cost you £2.50. If you're doing a shop online, two quid. Right, it's just about ready. So what I'll do is, I'll give this a stir, get it back in, and I'll bring you back when it's actually ready to eat. Stir time. Okay, so it is ready. And there we go. Now, that is what you get for £2.50. pence. Looks alright, nice and thick. The person that, just got a bit of drip of water, then I thought I was going to burn my hand off, but the person that said on the, in the reviews that there's not enough sauce, it looks very saucy. You can, the smell, it smells really sweet and like honey, honey, honey soy sauce, thick, big, thick noodles. Really, really nice. It smells unbelievable, I'll be honest. Not major bits of pork, but as long as, long as I'm not getting the, uh, the gristle that one, someone else said, or was that the same person, then I'm happy. Right, let me get this into a bowl. And then we'll give it a taste. Don't worry, we're going to get all that. There we go. Takeaway style, you would say, wouldn't you? Char siu pork and noodles from Iceland. Right, let's have a taste. Okay, so it's all important taste time. I just realised, I apologise if it's pretty dark in here. I think the uh, one of the spotlights have gone out. We'll have to get down to B&M and buy some new bulbs. We need some for the living room anyway. Right. We'll start with a bit of this sauce. There is, looks like little bits of carrot in there, green peppers, looks like green beans, maybe onion. They are little cubes of pork in there. They're not, they're not big massive pieces like you get at the, uh, the Chinese. Hope this doesn't burn my head off. Hopefully it's not too spicy. Oh my, I'll tell you what, that is absolutely fantastic. That sauce, it's sweet. I'm not sure if, do you know what, I think Mrs. Dino might like this, apart from all the, the vegetables in there. It's sweet, it's like a honey. I was worried it was going to be a bit more like a, what's it called, the sauce, teriyaki sauce, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but this is like a sweet it's, it's definitely, I bet, I didn't even look at sugar, I bet. Were there a traffic light system on here? No, there wasn't. 
So 40 grams of the carbs, 39.8 uh, grams of 80 grams of carb is sugar. Wow. So that's why it's sweet because it has got, it's half noodles, half sugar. It is very, very sweet, but very, very tasty. Mm. It's nice as this. The pork, little pork bits. See if I can get you some for a camera. See them on there, they're about to fall off. They are just little, tiny little pork bites. Not big piece of pork. I think I'd have preferred them, the pork to be more um, substantial rather than just mixed in like the same size as like the peppers and the onions and the carrots and things. Um, but, wow, it's so, it is really tasty this. This is one of my, one of my favourites of all time. Sometimes when I have things, especially like barbecue things or sweet sauces, it can get too sweet for me too soon. Don't think that's going to be the case with this. This is actually my, I might add this to my Chinese order. Wow, this is absolutely fantastic. I do like this three for six pound range. I think the curries are nice in it. And now this. All that sugar, how can it only be 535 calories? That's cracking. Definitely worth two and a half quid. Even more, even better for two quid. That is an absolute steal. It says new on there. Obviously, we've now come to realise it's not that new. But wow, really tasty. Really, really tasty. Have you had this? If you have, let me know in the comments what you guys thought. Obviously, life is full of opinions. Some people won't like it. It'll be too sweet for some people. I like it. Make sure you like this video and subscribe. Road to 15,000 is still, we're still a couple of hundred off. Fantastic, that is. Wow. That is also fantastic. If you haven't tried this, I suggest you try it. It's a good one, that. On to the next one. I have had something sitting here for a while that you guys have been noticed in the background that I've obviously been. Um, up, like putting off to do in the kitchen a bit of stag chili dynamite hot oh shall i bang that out tomorrow that looks like it's going to blow my head off let me know in the comments see you tomorrow bye bye what's happening people back in the kitchen again Hope you're all fantastic. Thanks for watching. Would be special.